Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Tech video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you on how you can get your own group ID from Roblox and understand how the group role system works. First things first, we're going to learn how to get our group ID. Getting our group ID is a crucial part of understanding how the Roblox group rank system works. So your group ID is essentially a unique number given to each group. This is often how scripters differentiate groups from each other. It's super simple to get your group ID, we need to head to a group of your choice, in our case we're using the cookie tech group, and then we have to look in the URL, right now I'm in full screen mode so I'm going to exit, and as you can see, there is a number in between two slashes, so everyone will have a unique group ID, so yours won't be the same as me, and all you need to do is look for the number, it will be between two slashes, so it will be after group slash, and then there'll be a number, and then there'll be another slash, and simply double click on that number, right click, and copy. And that is super simple and that's how you get your group ID. So now you may be familiar with how roles look visually. However, roles have an entire system which makes them work. Being your roles is super simple. You need to head to your, the group of your choice. Once again, I'm using the cookie deck group. Then you need to click on the three dots and then you need to click on configure group. Once that loads in, you're going to have to head over to roles. And there you go, you're going to have all of your roles listed. If we take a look at each role individually, they all have a unique number affiliated with them, and we often call this the rank. Often, the higher the rank, the more power is associated with that role, however, it can be different for certain groups. Normally, when we're coding, we can use the ranks to our benefit. The most common method of using ranks in our scripts and games is that we have a minimum rank. The minimum rank is the lowest role that can perform a task. Any role that has a higher rank will also be able to perform said action. For example, if we select moderator, you can see it has the rank 2. And now if we have a look at the admin, it has the rank 3. So if we set our minimum rank to be rank 2, it means any rank above rank 2, e.g. admin, developer and owner will be able to form said action. And now that's pretty simple to grasp, so we can also visualise this, for example, for example, if we're using our player role as the minimum rank, which is rank 1, all the ranks that are above player, we can view this visually, so e.g. moderator, admin, developer and owner will have access to said action. So this was a pretty simple and short tutorial today, however I feel it's quite crucial that we go over this so I can save some time in videos and also so you have a slight deep of how this works. Thank you for tuning in today, if you have any questions or you're confused by this feel free to head to our forms, forms.thecookie.dev, linked in our description down below. That's all from me and bye bye.